new suit is faster and more mobile. By getting close without being detected, I can get the jump on them, and in the panic, take down all three before they know what's hit them. So this is Batman Arkham Knight, the fourth and final chapter of Ruxedy's Arkham games. Now if you've played these games before, which I'm sure most of you have, then you're going to notice quite a few things that are different in this version to the previous games in the series. Firstly, we've got the fear takedown system, which we've just seen in action there a couple of times. So if you sneak up on an enemy and they don't know you're there, you can be fully Batman and badass and take them down and just strike the fear of God into them. Uh, a few other things like this chap who's just tackled me to the floor. There's a lot of different enemy takedowns that you have to be aware of compared to the other games. Um, we've also got environmental takedowns, which I can't remember if there's any clips of it in here. Um, you can throw crates again like that. Um, but if we do, I'll point those out to you. What the guys at Ruxedy have always done so well with the Batman games is break down the different elements that you really want to take from Batman. So you've got the combat like we've just seen there. You've got uh, flying through the city with your grappling hook, swinging rooftop to rooftop. And then we have things like uh, the Predator mode, which we're going to have a little look at now. Just to mention a little bit about the story, I won't give any spoilers away or anything like that, don't worry. Um, but again, it's solid. You've got your main uh, big bad is uh, Scarecrow, who we've all seen in the trailers leading up to the game, taking control of the city. And then you have the other bad guys that are united behind Scarecrow, uh, key to which is the uh, Arkham Knight, which was designed by Jim Lee himself. So yeah, similar to the combat, there are a few things in this that are different to the other games. Uh, we've got the guy there who had the drone who can scan for you. We had the multiple fear takedown, similar to the combat, which we can use here as well. Uh, it's a few more, well I'll say a few more, there's a lot more animations uh, than the previous games. For instance, this one sliding down from high to get underneath the characters. It really does change up the predator mode and give you a lot more options than you did in the previous games, rather than just hanging around for five minutes and figuring out where these people are going to go so you can get them. I mean there's still a lot of that, um, I'm not sure if I included the video in here but most of my time is just spent on one of these gargoyles waiting for the perfect takedown. This here, um, this is probably the best run I've done in the predator mode in the new game. It's a few cuts, not going to lie, but hey, who wants to see me just sitting there for five minutes? No one, that's who. So even the old animations, like the classic inverted takedown there, they just look so good on this current gen of uh, consoles. This is on a PS4, and it just looks so good. I mean, like all of these games, there are times, like when I take this guy down now, you'll see it does look a little glitchy, but I think they cope with it really well. Like you don't really notice that much, it doesn't take you out at the moment or anything like that but, you know, can't be perfect right, not everyone's Batman, not even Batman so yeah we have other quests in here as well um, so the Riddler's back of course with stupid amount of trophies I don't know if anyone's actually ever completed any of these games to full completion by which I mean collected all of the Riddler trophies and all of the challenge maps and whatnot because they're all back in the game I'm gonna spend countless hours on this game but I don't think I'm gonna come anywhere close to fully completing it in every sense of the word the interrogations are back so we get to have some swear to me moments which come on everyone wants to see that and to hear Kevin Conroy do it oh, it's just perfect so yeah, if you've watched any of the trailers in the build-up, you'll know that most of the major villains are back. So, like I say, Riddler's back, uh, Catwoman, who we just mentioned there, and we'll see a little bit of here. Uh, Two-Face, Harlequin. It's, it's fantastic. It's a smorgasbord of rogues gallery goodness. Now this little feature here you see in the team-up fight mode is amazing. I hadn't seen anything about this until I was playing it and it is so so good so 
this was the first introduction to it where you're using Catwoman. And you got these dual takedowns there, which are just amazing. But later on in the game, um, you get to team up with Batman's allies. Again, you'll see all this in the trailers. This isn't spoilers. Uh, so like Nightwing and people like that. Same type of thing, so you can do the dual takedowns. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the freaking Batmobile is in this game? And now I thought this was going to be really gimmicky, like, uh, just drive point A, point B. But it is not. It is great amount of fun to drive around in this thing. It takes a lot of different elements from a lot of different Batmobiles, throws it all into one, so you have this part tank, part sports car, just destructive machine of badassery. You can see obviously a lot of influence from the Tumblr in uh, the Nolan films. There's also a lot of the new Batmobile you can see from the uh, Batman vs Superman, uh, which hasn't come out yet obviously, but you've seen all like, the trailers of that and you've seen the Batmobile from that. A lot of influence in there. Um, so it switches from like live ammunition in those type of gunfights like rubber bullets so you can take down people in the street or uh, electrocuting in uh, Tim Burton style fashion if someone gets too close to the car. Fantastic. But uh, yeah, this game is an absolute must for anyone who loves Batman and action games. I'm going to leave it with this cinematic play out. Go buy it. It's fantastic. <laughs>